In this video, I'll discuss a theory regarding the show Pretty Little Liars. This video is probably not of interest unless you watch the show. I would guess that the things I'll say here have been thought about by other people, but I haven't done thorough research on other theories or even to verify that all of the facts fall into place with what I propose. This video contains spoilers up through episode 7 of season 7, which is the latest episode that's aired as of the time of this video. The thrust of my theory is that Mary Drake killed Jessica De Laurentiis, her sister, and I'll elaborate this using a few different points of evidence that might point in that direction. I actually think that this theory is pretty unlikely to be true. Indeed, almost any theory that you invent is unlikely to be true because there are so many possibilities. But it's certainly plausible that parts of this are true even if the whole thing isn't. So I'll go through a few different parts of this theory, and the first is that Spencer is Mary's daughter rather than the daughter of Veronica Hastings. Um, this is something that several people have thought is plausible based on the same lines of evidence. Um, one observation is that Peter Hastings already had an affair with Jessica, Mary's sister, um, which produced Jason, so it's not implausible that he could have also had an affair with Mary to produce Spencer. The main piece of evidence that has led many people to think that Spencer is Mary's daughter was this scene in Season 7, Episode 1, where Mary comes to Spencer's house. She's looking for the parents, in particular probably Peter Hastings, since that might be her, um, the father of Spencer. Are you Spencer or Melissa? Um, I know you must be Jessica's... There she might be pretending not to know Spencer, or else she hasn't seen her in a long time. Sister, but have they met? A long time ago, but you wouldn't remember. Namely, when she had Spencer. I'm Spencer. Are your parents home? No, they're on a cruise. I'll check back another time. So you know each other? We used to have a lot in common. Would you like to come inside? I could make us some tea. Yes. Yes, I would. Herbal or leaded? Oh, I've never been one to turn down caffeine. Spencer is also a fan of caffeine, again suggesting that they may have similar brains. And you can see that the um, appearance of Spencer and Mary has been made quite similar in this, um, this particular episode with the hair and face. You and your sister look so much alike. Almost like twins. Of course, Melissa and Spencer probably can't be twins because they're far apart in age. But maybe Mary was referring to Jessica and Mary being twins there. Are you close? Occasionally. So, when did you see my parents last? I only asked because they never talked about it yet. I know enough about your family to know that you're excellent secret keepers. Why would they keep you a secret? You certainly are inquisitive. Another suggestion that Spencer might be Mary's daughter is in episode 2 of season 7. We see a picture of Veronica Hastings here, and behind her is Mary Drake walking to meet Spencer. It seems like the directors might be trying to suggest the connection between Veronica, that behind the apparent mother that Veronica is, the actual mother would be Mary Drake. Yes, and you agreed. I will get a hard date. As soon as I can. Thank you. The Bros Watch PLL2 podcast makes the same observation as I said here. Here's why I love this scene, because that shadow is going to be revealed to be Mary Drake. Um, she's this shadowy image, like on the other side of the, of, of the image of Spencer's mother, and then she morphs into a real person. So if they ever decide to do something where we discover that Mary is Spencer's real mother, or her surrogate, or whatever, this is clever as fuck. Yet another connection between Spencer and Mary is the following. I spent time 
considerable time in Radley when he was a sanitarian. And of course, Spencer also spent time in Radley at the end of season three, suggesting that the two characters may have similar brains. The possibility of Spencer being Mary's daughter is further opened up by this part of episode seven of season seven. We had a second child. What? A second what? Boy or girl. All it says is no complications due to prior birth. Kate would have been our age by now. So Charlotte had her biological brother or sister. So one further possibility that's opened up by what's said there is that that birth was twins, uh, with Spencer having a twin. Many people think that Spencer might have a twin. The hypothesis that Spencer has a twin would help explain the scene in Season 7, Episode 1, where Hannah is visited by a dream of Spencer. The hypothesis would be that that's Spencer's twin, and maybe the fact that Spencer's twin was at Hannah's captivity place would explain why Mary was also driving near that area. Um, since most dream sequences in PLL turn out to be not dreams, people suspect that this one might also not be a dream, although I think it's a bit of a stretch potentially to involve a twin for Spencer given that she doesn't seem to have been present, at least not very much, in the past. Now that we know in Season 7 that Charlotte may have been Mary's daughter rather than Jessica's daughter, we have to reinterpret this scene in which um, Charlotte tries to kill Bethany and actually hurts Allison instead. We thought that Jessica was looking through the window, but Maybe that was actually Mary, and that could help explain why why Jessica, who is actually Mary, was so willing to bury Allison, whether or not she was actually still alive. It's always been a puzzle why Jessica was so quick to bury her apparent daughter rather than checking that she was alive, but maybe Mary was trying to bury Allison to cover up for her own daughter, Charlotte. If it was Mary who saw Allison being hit through the window of her house rather than Jessica, that could also help explain why Jessica seemingly thought that Spencer was the one who was responsible for killing Allison. Do you think that I heard that like what? Do you and my father have some kind of agreement to keep it quiet? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't that would also help explain why Jessica seemed suspicious and dis disliked Spencer. Um, and if Spencer is Mary's daughter, then that would provide an extra level of antagonism between Spencer and Jessica because Jessica doesn't like Mary, and so probably doesn't like her daughter as well. In this flashback, Jessica is worried about Allison potentially being bullied by Spencer. Is this about you thinking that Spencer's the bully? Because I have that under control now. I know things about that family that you don't. It's not clear what Jessica meant with that comment. Maybe she was thinking of Jason and her relationship with Peter. But it's also possible she was she knows about Mary Drake and Peter. Presumably Spencer's parents also thought that Spencer might have been guilty in killing Allison, and they were trying to pressure Jessica not to tell the police about that. Um, I think they might have said something like Peter threatened to reveal the information about the affair that produced Jason in order to keep Jessica quiet. You and Dad said that you covered for me that summer, when I was first using. What did you mean? Because I still don't remember. Consider it a blessing. I'm going to bed. I suggest you do the same. So around this time, Jessica is still eyeing Spencer sp suspiciously. Spencer? 
answer. Are you okay? So this might have been a hallucination because Spencer was recovering from her drug addiction at this time, but as with most dreams or hallucinations, they turn out not to be. So it's possible that either that was actually Jessica in Spencer's room, or it was Mary, and it's not really clear which one. Um, maybe Mary was coming to try to tell Spencer something, or Jessica was just spying on Spencer. It's interesting that People thought that it might be a twin of Jessica even a long time ago. So this post is from March of 2015, long before it was revealed that Jessica had a twin. And this person still um, thought that there might be a twin sister of Jessica who was staring through the window there. At the beginning of Season 5, Hannah looks through Jessica's emails that she wrote before she was murdered, and she finds... So presumably Jessica was murdered because she wasn't going to protect someone anymore. Maybe she wasn't going to protect Peter and Mary anymore from not telling the police about Spencer. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good hypothesis, but if that were true, that would suggest that either Peter or Mary would have incentive to murder Jessica. And so the hypothesis that I'm discussing in this video is that Mary in particular murdered Jessica. Jessica was also protecting Mary in a somewhat different sense by allowing her to stay at Aunt Carol's abandoned house, which we learn in Season 7, Episode 7. Someone in there? That's just the wind. So the hypothesis I'm suggesting in this video is that Mary killed Jessica because Jessica was going to tell the police about Spencer. And since Spencer is Mary's daughter, Mary wanted to protect her. So it was sort of the situation described in the opening song. In order to keep the allegations against Spencer secret, Mary had to kill Jessica. And in fact, Mary would have known that it wasn't Spencer who hid Allison, but actually Charlotte. But since Charlotte is also one of Mary's children, Mary would want to protect either one of them. I think one of the better arguments in favor of the idea that Mary killed Jessica is a story from season two, which seems like just a throwaway thing at the beginning of an episode, but it might actually be relevant. Note that they're twins and they're blonde, like Jessica and Mary. Mary's hair is now kind of black, but presumably that's dyed or something. There, the twin on the right seems to be Jessica, who is stealing the attention and goodwill from people. And Mary is on the left, upset that Jessica takes things from her, including her possessions, as we learn in Season 7. Sister's 
thick smile came across her face as she watched the blood ooze out of her sister's heart. And they had no choice but to send her away to a home for the criminally insane. And that's where she remained until yesterday when she escaped and vowed return to Rosewood and stabbed to death every child who dares to go trick-or-treating on Halloween. So, in analogy with that story, um, Mary was actually sent to Radley, a, a place for the criminally insane, or at least the insane of some sort, and Mary did eventually return to Rosewood. So the only problem with this story is that here it they're young twins where the murder takes place, whereas in the hypothesis where Mary killed Jessica, that happened as when they were adults. But presumably this is sort of a foreshadowing. Obviously Allison wouldn't have known something that would happen in the future here, but this is the writer's way of telling us, giving us a hint. It looks like other people have also developed this idea that the twin Halloween story is referring to Mary and Jessica. The animosity between mysterious blonde twins is also present in Season 3's Halloween episode. My sister is always telling lies, getting me in trouble. We're sisters, but we fight all the time over everything, even our dolls. In any case, the idea that Mary killed Jessica is just one of maybe hundreds of different plausible hypotheses that one could construct. It's important to beware of confirmation bias here. You can invent one hypothesis and find a lot of evidence for it, but one of the genius things about this show is that you can find evidence for hundreds of different hypotheses, which makes it very hard, but also very fun to think about the options. Another possibility is that Jessica killed Mary, and Mary is the one who was buried, and now Jessica is pretending to be Mary. Another possibility is that Spencer is not Mary's daughter, but actually Bethany Young is Mary's daughter. And there are some good arguments for this, like the fact that Jessica asked Bethany to call her Aunt Jessie. And um, that might help explain why Bethany was upset when Jessica started having an affair with Bethany's father. It's also possible that the person that Bethany was demonizing in this picture that she drew was Mary, whom she probably knew from Radley. So there are lots of possibilities here. One reason I'm skeptical of the Mary killed Jessica hypothesis is that it's a little bit too straightforward, and finding out who killed Jessica is one of the highlights of the end of season seven. So that suggests that maybe it was somebody else, or at least that the whole story is more complicated.